So I don't have my facts straight, you're telling me, right? My facts are always straight. They're always right on. So here's, here's what I did. I've been trying to find out what's going on with the uh, ambulance company because I'd like to be, this is going to be uh, a big expense for uh, taxpayers, and I want to know everything about it. So I did some uh, little research. First of all, Steve, they are not a private company. Absolutely not. So if you want facts, you got facts. So, one of the sheets. Oh, there they are. So the fact is, the fact is that they are a non-profit company and they are totally public. Okay? And I'll read you a little something. Federal government. Oh, shit. I'm trying to forget that one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, okay, this must be it. No, nope, that's not it. No. I can do it by memory. I guess so. No. 2009, the federal government ordered the IRS to uh, make all public companies, nonprofits, be transparent with all of their paperwork, all of their tax statements, and everything. Just last year, they even doubled it up. The, the um, anyone can get their tax statements. So it's called a 990. Anybody that wants it. So I got their tax statements. They have to. They have to give. They have to um, file three years, three consecutive years. All they have now is 15, 16, uh, 14, 15, and 16, 17. They haven't filed yet. So I'm going to re reference. Uh, okay, here's one for you. So I didn't know my facts. This is a 990. It's on their tax return. What does that say? That's what I said last year, last week, and you said I didn't know my facts. That's a fact. Unless they're lying to the IRS. Okay. So they have to file a 990. And on the 990... Yeah, she's is, the secretary. Okay, um, right, right, right. Okay, that's all I said. She works board. for them. Huh? Uh, she's the secretary of the board. She doesn't work for them. I don't care work. who she works for. She has. She's paid. The, the only criteria on a conflict of interest is she works for the company, gets paid. That's it. I don't care what she does elsewhere. That is the criteria for conflict of interest, which you're going to have to, you're going to have to find a way to determine that in writing on a policy next year. So maybe you should, you know, get into this a little. I'm not doing anything wrong. As far as his wife goes, I, I have never said she did any wrongdoing. I, I mentioned her name in accordance with the, uh, the uh, conflict of interest laws. They had up to, they have a criteria, three you, things. You said that she worked for Mike Parodies. And you were wrong. I'll tell you, don't embarrass Mike yourself. Parodies, You're talking okay. Mike Look. Parodies works for her. Jerry, you're an expert at municipal. Stay there. Will you? Don't, don't, don't go into this. I don't want to argue with you about this because you embarrass yourself saying stuff like that in the business world. Believe me. Look, you know, I mean, she. Uh, we're talking. We're talking. Uh, uh, we're talking. Is, a secretary she, who works yeah, one right, hour a week right. is an executive director. And a president of a, a multi-million dollar corporation's boss? Please. End it. Let's go on. She's a Move on. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to talk anymore. I, I, stop talking. And here. And here's, here's that. Uh, read that with that talk line says. Well, Barry, let him speak. It's okay. All right. I don't want to argue about this. They're telling me. You're I the can't. one arguing. We're just trying to explain something to you. Yeah, You're here. explaining to me that someone, a secretary that works one hour a week, He's is the boss of anybody. an executive director Barry. and a president of a, uh, a multi million dollar corporation? Barry. Please. <laughs> Barry, please let us talk. Okay. What does that say? Does that say board of directors? Because you're on a board does not make you a boss. Like, you're not my boss. You're on a board here. Select board. It doesn't make someone a That's boss. That's the board of directors for the ambulance service. They, I didn't say, she, I, I did say she was boss, and I was wrong. She's not a boss. But she is, but she doesn't work for Mike Parodies. She works in the organization, right? She works for NAS, does she not? And, and it says She's it right the there on the track statement. I don't care what she does. I'm only interested in the criteria for conflict of interest. Can she I say works, something? She gets paid. Okay. Um, I could see where it would be a conflict of interest, maybe, if the select board had anything to do with voting on the Newport Ambulance Service. It's not voting. Service. Any action. 
discussion, negotiation. Can it's I not please just voting. Finish what I was going to yeah. say? I don't interrupt you. You said I could talk, right? All right, you're right. I'm getting heated up. Let me um, have some water while you're, while you're the talking. The Newport Ambulance Service contract is voted at town meeting by all of the townspeople, not by the select board. Okay. Last uh, March, February or something, there was a discussion. Uh, Mag Paradise was here. Pronto was here. He was here, and there was a discussion. That's all that has to be done. It is recommended, and you recommended it to him when I first met, uh, and it's on tape. It is recommended in a situation where he is in discussion or negotiation with a contractor looking for thousands, tens of thousands of dollars when his wife works at the company, he should, it is recommended that he recuse himself. And that way, your, na your wife's name would have never been brought up if you recused yourself. That is 100% correct if the select board makes the decision. The select board does not have the decision-making power. The townspeople do at town meeting. They vote yes uh, or I, no. I have it on tape. tape. All they, we can they, do is put it on the warning, right. which is a warning. To be voted by the townspeople at the, town meeting. We can no, put no, on no. He warning. Was there was a discussion with Mike Paradis and Pronto. Was there not? You brought up, he brought in um, another contract from Miss Ikoy and the other one, and you compared them. That is a negotiation. That's all it takes. He should have recused himself, but he doesn't have to. He should have. And none of this crap would have happened. It would have stopped right away. If you just said, look, my wife works there. It's a conflict of interest like the guy from Lowell did. I recuse myself. It would have been over. No arguments. We wouldn't, want, we wouldn't have had to go with all this crap. But you're going to have to do it next year. You're going to have to come up with a policy that said how you determine what it is. So you're going to have to think about that. And so whatever you're telling me here, I don't know. Maybe it can be good. Are we finished? Any questions on that? Can I move on?